doing your cryptocurrency taxes can be an absolute nightmare. So in today's video, I want to show you a 100% completely free tool from crypto.com that you can use to complete all of your cryptocurrency transactions in the seconds. It integrates with the most popular wallets, exchanges to make your cryptocurrency taxes an absolute breeze. Hey everyone and welcome this is Robert with Altcoin Buzz and in today's video I have a product that I am excited about for myself as well as to share with you and that is this free tax tool through crypto.com now at the beginning of this video I want to come right on and say this is obviously not financial advice. I am your, not your tax attorney. I am not a tax professional. However, this tool is something that's absolutely fantastic that has been provided to us free of charge to make simplifying your cryptocurrency transactions that much easier. So with that being said in today's video, I want to jump in. I want to show you exactly how this works, how to get set up, some of the different features and options that you can customize. And then I want you to stick with me to the end of the video because I'm going to walk through all of the steps that you need to know about this product. So with that being said, it's very simple simply to follow this link to tax.crypto.com. That's probably the easiest way of getting there. So simply go to the tweet. Again, all of this stuff I will pin down below in the description. So if you're looking for the links to this, make sure you go to the description because everything will be there for you. So we go to tax.crypto.com and it says get your crypto taxes done in seconds at no cost. Full integration with popular exchanges, wallets, and easy to use interface that gets the job done in no time. So having this piece of software that automates it and makes it easier is an absolute lifesaver and best of all, it is completely free. So. This is a complete free solution for every cryptocurrency owner. Crypto.com tax is entirely free for anyone who needs to prepare their crypto taxes. No matter how many transactions you have in the past years, we'll handle the calculations for you at no cost. So as I go through this, when I actually show you this, what you're going to see is that when you spend cryptocurrency, it's going to calculate the correct cost basis. So if I sell something in 2020, but I purchased it back in 2019, it will know how much I need to calculate for that, how much I need to pay in taxes. On top of that, and this is something that I really like, you're not having to go through and manually enter this. You enter your wallet address or you enter your exchange and it's automatically going to read in all of this. So in the demo, I'm going to show you a MetaMask address and it's going to pull all of those transactions directly from MetaMask. It also, as it shows you here, integrates with a number of leading exchanges, Binance, Crypto.com, Blockchain.com, Coinbase, Kraken, and then a straightforward user interface. So with that being said, let's go ahead and join up, get started. You will need to enter an email and a password. I did initially try to sign up with Google and I don't know what was going on. Maybe it was a Google error, but for whatever reason, I wasn't getting my authentication code through Google. So I did have to fight with that a little bit, but if you're not getting that authentication code with Google, try using some other email address. I had an old AOL address that I used and it worked just fine. And again, like I said, it could have been a Google issue. And then once you get to that login screen, once you create your first account, you are going to have to customize some initial settings. And this is what is so awesome about this because if crypto.com wasn't giving this to us for free, this could easily be something that I could see them charging quite a bit of money for because it really customizes it to your specific situation. So you enter the tax year. And again, the reason that's important because it needs to know what transactions to look at in your wallet. Obviously the first year available is going to be at 2020 now. Here's the cool thing. When you enter your time zone, so I'm obviously Eastern time zone in the United States, it's automatically going to know what tax jurisdictions are in that time zone. So right here, what you can see, I'm in the United States, obviously. US and Canada are the only ones that are supported at the moment. So this is kind of an honor because all the times that I do these videos, I always say, as a US resident, I can't use this. As a US resident, I can't use that. So being in the US and Canada, it's nice that we finally get um, a chance at one of these things for first. But then again, it is a chance at more effectively paying our taxes. So that is pretty cool to finally be first in something. Obviously, the base currency for me is going to be the United States dollar. And then what you have to do is you have to select your cost basis accounting method. So this is a question for your tax professional because in different jurisdictions, different accounting methods will have different ways that they impact you. So last in, first out versus last in, or first in, first out versus last in, first out. Again, they can have different amounts of taxes that you'll pay. So you could do the exact same cryptocurrency transactions and you could spend more in taxes using one method or less in taxes using one method. But 
all of these methods might not be allowed in your specific jurisdiction. So as far as that, I would definitely get advice on what method you are allowed to use just for the purposes of this demo. We're going to use highest in first out, and then you agree to the United States America Tax Disclaimer Act. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And then with that, our settings have been changed. They have been updated. And again, we're looking backward at 2020 taxes. That's fine because when it comes to 2021, the process will be the exact same. So this is the cool thing. It will automatically generate and fill these IRS forms for you. So you don't even have to worry about filling the IRS form. It will generate it in a computer summary for you. So let's suppose there's two separate forms that are kind of dealing with cryptocurrency here for the IRS. There's this 8949 and there is a Schedule D. So let's suppose that we want to fill one of these out. The first thing that we need to do is we need to link either a wallet or an exchange. So what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to link a cryptocurrency wallet. So if you've got a MetaMask wallet, if you've got something like that, the vast majority of people that are transacting cryptocurrency are probably using some kind of a MetaMask wallet. So all that we're going to do is we're going to come to add wallet exchange and it has a variety of different options for us. So it has wallets, crypto.com app, Exodus blockchain wallet. Now, this is the thing that can be just a little bit confusing. If you're using MetaMask, you're not going to link a wallet. What you're actually going to do is you're going to come up here and link a blockchain, which I will show you how to do that. You also have the ability of linking directly to an exchange. So if you want to tie into Coinbase, if you want to tie into Binance US, that's something that you can do now. I will show you a little bit how to do that. It is a little bit more complicated. The easiest thing is simply logging into your MetaMask. So we're going to select Ethereum ERC20 and we're going to enter the name of this. So just for this example, we are going to call this test. And then we have three separate options. We have uploading a CSV. So if you download all of the transactions from your MetaMask, you can upload them. The easiest thing to do is simply to import the blockchain and what it's going to do you don't even need your private key for this. You can use a public key. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on to Etherscan and I'm going to pull a random public key that I've never seen before just to show you how this works. So again, we are here, we're on Etherscan and I've just pulled a random Ethereum block, one of the most recent. I'm going to click on this first address here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that address to my clipboard. I'm going to come right back here and then I'm going to paste that into the public address and click sync. Now, what you're going to see when I do that, it's going to be syncing that tax API. It's going to show the various different transactions. Now, sometimes you'll pull a random wallet and it won't have a lot of transactions. So I do actually have an old wallet that's already been loaded in here that does have a lot of transactions for us to see. So what I'm going to do when I actually want to generate my tax documents, this top right hand corner that says tax reports, I can generate either at 8949 or an IRS Schedule D. Just for the purpose of this, I'm going to generate the 8949. Very simple. I simply come and click generate. It's going to download that form for me and then all I have to do is click it and this is what you guys are going to see that is absolutely so awesome. It actually puts in every single transaction here. So if I remember when I always tell you all that in the US cryptocurrency isn't easy to spend because if I spend five dollars worth of Bitcoin but I received one different dollar of Bitcoin five times, I have to calculate cost basis for each of that. This will take care of everything for you. So what you can see here is this person, and again, this is a completely random wallet address on the 21st of April 2019, they got 0.0007 ETH. They sold that on the 22nd of April, of January 2020. It tells the proceeds, it tells the cost basis, and then it tells the net gain or loss from that asset. And this is what I want to show you that's so amazing. Remember when I said it doesn't matter how many transactions you have? Look at this, 113 pages of transactions. It takes care of absolutely all of that for you. So whether you're someone that logged in and you sold Ethereum for USDC coin and that was it. You have one transaction, it'll take care of that for you. If you're like this person that has 113 pages of transactions, it will take care of all of that for you as well. And then the other thing I do want to show you, not again, not that I'm your tax professional, but IRS Schedule D is also something that goes along with cryptocurrencies. And we're going to pull up that IRS Schedule D. That This is the final overall summary of capital gains and losses. So the 8949, is each individual transaction. The Schedule D is more our overall, what did we make, how did we come out as a whole. So again, you can see that it has pre-filled all of those numbers for us. So absolutely incredible tool there. Now, 
like I said, linking your wallet. Most people are going to be using a MetaMask, something like that. If you have an exchange or if you're trading within your wallet, it does have the functionality to do that as well. Although I will tell you, it is just a little bit more complicated. So if we go to wallets and exchanges, we want to add a wallet. And this time, instead of adding an Ethereum wallet, what say we want to go down here and we want to add a KuCoin exam. Actually, let's go with Binance because Binance is something that I remember showing y'all in the true PNL video. Remember that trading bot that we had and I had to create an API to log into that Binance account. It's going to be the same thing here. So I'm going to go to a Binance.us account because that's what I have. I don't have a real Binance account and we're going to enter test. And then we have a couple of different options. So we can upload a CSV. Again, the API sync is something that's recommended. Now, like I said, this is going to be a little bit more complicated, but if you're doing a lot of changes on an exchange, it is definitely gonna pay off because it's gonna automate all of this for you. So if you are creating this API key, whether it's on Binance.us or Binance, the process is gonna be similar. We're gonna to go to our drop down menu, click API Management. It's going to give us the option of creating this and we can give it whatever name we want. The name doesn't matter, but just to keep it easy, we're going to go with crypto tax. Go ahead and create that and then it will ask you to enter your Google Authenticator code. Not only that, and again, anytime you're dealing with APIs, they're very powerful. So it's going to ask you to confirm that through your email address as well. And then once that API key has been created, do not leave this screen because once you save this, it's going to clear out your secret key. You will need your secret key and your API key both to paste into the crypto.com tax structure. So leave this page up. You're gonna to have to make some edits, but don't do that until you copy both of these keys. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy the actual API key itself, control V, and then we want to copy this secret key as well. Going to go ahead and sync that. It might not work because we do have to do the restrictions. So I'm going to come over to restrictions. What I want to do is I want to disable where it says enable spot trading, save that. And then once again, I will have to enter that Google Authenticator code. And then what you can see from here is it is syncing with that exchange. So obviously it is going to take a minute to pull all of that transaction history. What I just wanted to do is I wanted to show you that there's quite a lot of options for you because I know everyone uses different exchanges. They use different wallets. And the cool thing about this is they do have a lot of options. So crypto.com app, blockchain.com wallet, Exodus, crypto.com exchange. Obviously it's their own exchange. They, they, they'll have that Binance, Binance US, Bitrex. That's one that I use Coinbase, Coinbase Pro, Kraken. So a lot of different exchanges here for you. You can easily find the one that works for you. So before I close out the video, I wanted to show two more announcements, crypto.com adding two-factor authentication and a Shiba token imports to its platform. So for those of you who do not know, Shiba token has been incredibly popular lately. It's kind of a spin-off on Dogecoin that has a number of unique advantages, benefits. It's designed as an experiment really in a decentralized community building. So the founders, the team, they didn't actually get a team fund, a seed fund, anything like that it was really built from the ground up there's no investor fund there's no team fund anything like that so they had to buy their tokens on the open market just like everyone else there's no advertising budget so it's really been a great experiment as well as it's had some considerable price action as well. Obviously not financial advice, but it is pretty cool that they're adding the import functionality for one of these up and coming popular tokens. So with that being said, I just wanted to finish out the video and say that this is an absolutely amazing tool that I'm excited about for my personal use as well as to share with you here on Altcoin Buzz. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.